in rise of kingdoms some skills on a commander are completely useless in the open field for example guan yu's second skill is only applicable when attacking a city or stronghold so if you're only planning on using him in the open field then the best value that you could get out of guan yu would be a 5155 configuration and likewise just like in a recent video i attempted to do a 5515 configuration for my new gorgo because her third skill is only applicable in the garrisons but there is one problem with this strategy and that is that the game doesn't let you skip the second or third skills willingly there is a skill lock feature which will lock skills in a scaling order but that only helps if you want to guaranteed max the first skill or the first two skills or the first three skills there's no actual way to skip the second and third skills and so today we're going to talk about the two different methods that you can use to attempt to get the ideal configuration on some of the commanders that you might really care about but first what's going on guys cheers now I'm going to be honest with you guys I kind of hesitated to even make this video because this video is literally just going to be me attempting to explain complex probabilities and math and based on the backlash that I got on my Gorgo video I feel like a lot of people aren't going to fully understand the conclusions that we come to in this video but nonetheless I'm going to try my best to explain this in the simplest way possible and if you appreciate that please drop a thumbs up on this video so first let's explain the two different methods that there are to getting the ideal configuration for your commander and in this example I'm going to use Henry because well because he's legendary and all his skills are at one so it just makes sense also you would want to skip the third skill here just like in my Gorgo video the first method that you could do would be to skill lock the first two skills and then upgrade the first two skills to max and then you have a 50 percent chance for your next four skill ups to get this skill that you actually want and this was the strategy that I used in my Gorgo video and I got dozens of people telling me that this was not the correct strategy which is why I'm hesitating to make this video but the other strategy that lots of people commented saying that I should have done would be to actually just leave all skills unlocked and proceed to add your skill points from here and the logic here on the surface makes a lot of sense because in this scenario I have a 75 percent chance of adding a skill point to a skill that I find favorable but there is a downside to both of these strategies first of all the downside to the 5511 strategy is that I have a 50 percent failure rate four times in a row but the upside of this strategy is that I've already guaranteed max two skills that I care about and I only have to get the correct skill four times I have four remaining attempts okay and this is where a lot of people get confused the benefit of adding skills when they are one 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 with no skill lock at all is that yes there is a 70 percent chance of success but I think it's easier to explain it if you look at it from a failure perspective you have a 25 percent chance of failure and the amount of attempts that you're going to perform at this 25 or 33 percent failure rate which we're going to talk about in just a second is much higher than the four attempts that you would normally do for the 5511 configuration now before you go down in the comment section below let me actually provide you with some data but before we do i have to thank reddit user beloso because they actually coded a simulation in python over two years ago that answers the question for us and on top of that wick gaming also made a video about this about two years ago that also answers this question so this probability problem in rise of kingdoms has existed for years which is another reason why I've hesitated making this video because it seems like people always get confused when it comes to this topic but let's jump right into the code here and the code that I found from Beloso was actually for Guan Yu, which means it calculates the probability of getting a 5155 Guan, and there's two ways of doing that. You can either start the skill upgrade with no skill lock involved, and you can start to add skills, or you can lock the first skill and get it to five. And then once the active skill is five, you can add the remaining skill points with the final three skills unlocked. And don't worry, we can modify this code to apply to a 5515 commander later, which we're going to go over in this video as well. Now, I don't do any coding, okay? So I'm going to explain this code in the most layman terms possible. And so if this is your area of expertise, I'm sorry for making you cringe. But essentially what this code is doing is that it's adding skills 
to the available skills at random and we're running it in two different scenarios either at 1111 or at 5111 because remember this is for Guan Yu and there's a couple of different constraints here first of all if your second skill which in this case is skill one right because skill zero is your active skill in this actual simulator but if skill one is greater than one meaning that a skill point was added to Guan Yu's second skill then you have failed right because you're not going to get a 5155 then we have to define the success condition which is twofold first of all if the last two skills are at five which would be skill two and three in this simulator again skill zero is where we're starting so skill three would be the last skill if the last two skills are at five then you've succeeded because then you can just skill lock him and max the first skill right away or if the first skill is maxed and the last two skills are maxed then you've succeeded as well because that is five one five five and like i explained before there are two different scenarios here there is the scenario where you start with all skills unlocked and then there's the scenario where you max the first skill and then add the skill points after and here you'll see 10 million attempts okay 10 million attempts this is attempting to get a five one five five guan yu 10 million times so let's go ahead and run the code and we'll, we will see what the success rate actually is compared comparing the 1111 strategy to the 5111 strategy and this is going to take a little bit of time to execute so i'll probably cut the video here okay it's been about a minute or two and you can see here that the success rate of the 1111 configuration is 2.1682 percent and the success rate of the 5111 strategy was 2.16168 percent and so here we can see that it actually doesn't make a difference at all whether you skill lock the first skill or not the probability that you end with a 5155 is the same with each strategy now I know that might sound confusing and I'm, again I'm going to try my best to explain why this is the case later and I hope that it makes sense but I've also gone ahead and modified the code to attempt to get the 5515 configuration right because here we're attempting to skip the third skill instead of the second skill which is actually a little bit easier right because in the 5155 strategy you have to max the last two and you have no way of of guaranteeing either of those whereas in the 5515 category you can guarantee to get either the first or the second skill and so it's actually a little bit easier to get uh, well in fact it's actually much easier to get a 5515 commander than it is to get a 5155 commander okay so let's go over the little modifications here we have the same fail condition right getting your third skill which in this case is skill number two right because zero is skill number one one is skill number two I kind of beating a dead horse here, but I just don't want people to get confused looking at these numbers. If your third skill here is greater than one, you fail, right? Because you will not be able to get a five, five, one, five. If the third skill is greater than one. And there's also two success conditions. First of all, if you get your last skill to five, you basically won, right? If you get a one, 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 five, well, then you can just skill lock the first two and guaranteed get your five, five, one, one. So one of the success conditions is just maxing that last skill with the third skill being at one the other success condition is getting the last skill maxed with the first two skills being maxed right so we have if last skill maxed or first two skills and last skill max is true then that is also a success right because that is the definition of the 5515 configuration having the first two and the last skill max now again we have two scenarios we have the 1111 scenario where you just add skills without skill locking until the last skill is at five then we have the second scenario here where you max the first two skills and then you just do that 50 50 four times in a row and that's what i did in my gorgo video and so here we're simulating this 10 million times okay so the code is still running right now you, you're going to see this green arrow move around but it's given us the information for the 1111 strategy and if you don't skill lock the commander at all or at least until the last skill is five then your success rate is 6.245 percent and if you do skill lock the commander at 5511 and you attempt to add your skill ups from there then the success rate is 6.256 percent again these numbers are basically going to be even right we're talking about 10 million attempts it's effectively 6.25 right and you can round this up it's basically the same if you wanted more accurate data you could run it a hundred million times or a billion times and you could really like narrow it in and the more att attempts that you run here the closer these numbers are going to be to 
to being exactly the same and I want to just do a real quick basic math here okay remember I said if you if you skill lock the commander it's basically winning a 50 50 four times in a row right because you're adding four skills you want them all to go in one of them and so that's kind of like flipping a coin four times in a row and getting heads four times in a row so what is the probability of that well the first time it's 50 50 right but getting 50 50 twice is 25 percent chance and three times is 0.125 and wait a minute four times well wait a minute brother wait a minute that's 6.25 okay so look at that would you look at that it looks like the numbers do kind of line up but let's get a second opinion okay the one and only wick gaming made a video just like this one over two years ago in september of 2021 he used python code that was made by this player here salamalis i don't think this player plays anymore not sure if you do respond to my dm on get in game but here he goes through a completely different python code that checks for the probability of getting a 5155 or a 5515 skill configuration and attempting to get a 5155 from the skill locked 5111 configuration was 2.146 percent and that's basically exactly what we got here with this code that i just ran and down here where his cursor is you can see what the probability is of getting a 5155 from a 111 configuration locking skills as soon as you reach five for the third and fourth skill which is again exactly what this code checks for here and we see that the probability is 2.156 percent and here we have 2.168 percent i ran this code 10 million times his code runs it i think a million times if i'm not mistaken and so the the numbers they line up the data is the same even though it's different code checking for the same thing it looks like the data lines up i don't need i don't even like this video let's like the video he then goes on to check the probability of getting a 5515 from the skill locked 5511 configuration which his stats say that you have a 6.265 percent chance of that success and again it's basically exactly what we got with our data here as well furthermore if you attempt to get a 5515 from the 1111 configuration locking skills as soon as you reach five for the fourth skill the success rate is 6.252 percent and ladies and gentlemen we got 6.245 percent so you can see all of the data in my video lines up with all the data in wick gaming's video and we've used two different python codes to calculate the exact same thing it's all the same so now you might be saying okay well Omni York, that that's great. What we found out so far is that it literally doesn't matter. I mean, I mean, like, look, the, the probability of success is basically the same in both of these scenarios, right? And if you run it again, one of them might be slightly higher than the other, but you could, again, you could run more attempts if you want more accurate data. But the conclusion we've come to here is that it literally doesn't matter, but I do still have a recommendation. So stay tuned for the end of the video, because I will tell you which of these two strategies I think you should do, even though the data shows that they're the same. Now, this is the part of the video that I was dreading, because this is the part of the video where I have to explain why the math comes out the way it does, because so many people were so convinced that leaving it unlocked was the best way to do it and in reality the probability is the same so this is the hard part of the video okay let me go ahead and attempt to explain why the math comes out identical and i think the best way to do that is to instead not look at your success rate of 75 percent here but instead to look at your failure rate okay because really as soon as you get a single point in that third skill you failed right so when you're going ahead and adding points here you have a 25 percent failure rate and if you get the 5511 configuration, you have a 50% failure rate, right? Because it can go in either or. And so again, you might look at this from a surface level perspective and say, well, 25% failure is lower than 50%. So surely it would be better to do the completely unlocked strategy. But like I said before, the downside of that strategy is that you have to do more attempts and therefore there's more attempts at failing and getting a skill in the third skill so even though the probability is lower you're rolling the dice more time so okay let me explain this in another way if you leave all four skills unlocked it's kind of like rolling a four-sided dice right whereas if you skill lock at five five one one it's kind of like flipping a coin we're comparing the 50 percent failure rate of the coin flip to the 25 percent failure rate of the four-sided dice and four-sided die is a tetrahedron shape it's a it's a basically a pyramid okay and i'm using this to illustrate what's actually happening so when you roll this dice if you roll a three you lose 
but if you roll a one two or four you win just like in rise of kingdom so we roll the dice and boom you put a point in your second skill then you roll again and boom you put a point in your third skill you've actually lost now you have a one two two one commander you've lost then you use a skill reset then you add your skill point again you get a point in your first skill you add a skill point again and you've lost again now this is pretty unlucky because again it is only a 25 percent chance of failure but let me try this another way let's use a counter for skill one skill two skill three and skill four let's say you add a skill at random because it's you're not using skill lock so it can go anywhere at once and let's count the number of attempts that you could possibly be doing okay and again this is hypothetical but let's say your first attempt goes here your second attempt goes here your third attempt goes here your fourth attempt goes here your fifth attempt goes here your sixth attempt goes here your seventh attempt goes here okay well now now you've had seven chances of failure okay whereas in the other example it's only 50 54 times right it's four times here you've had a 25 percent chance of failure seven times and now now the failure chance is 33 percent because you can't get any more here and so you can either continue to add without skill locking which is what everyone in the comments would recommend because you still have a 66 percent chance of success or you could skill lock and get this to five and now you have a 50 50 only twice right which is pretty good but let's assume the worst case scenario you have one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attempts. You've done nine attempts with a 25% failure rate. And in this scenario, again, based on the comments that I've been given, people would still look at this and say, well, this is a 75% success rate. And let's say, boom, now you've done 10 attempts with a 25% failure rate, as opposed to the four attempts with the 50% failure rate. So let's take a look at what your success rate is after 10 attempts okay well we know it's 75 percent and we're going with the worst case scenario so we do this is getting a success twice in a row three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you times that by 100 well you're already down to 5.63 percent chance of this configuration and then you could say well omniarch you could just skill lock it and now you have a 50 50 which is great so let's multiply that by a 50 50 afterwards and boom there's a 2.81 percent chance of getting this configuration using the completely unlocked method and actually winning now again the reason this is so low is because I assumed the worst case scenario really it's going to be the 6.25 percent chance that we've calculated using the simulator code and so the number one thing that you should take away from this is that even though the probability of getting a skill you want is higher you have to run more attempts at that higher success rate which means you have more chances of failure as well and when you do the math 10 million times 100 million times and you look at the average the probability is the same whether you skill lock the commander or not now the last explanation that i want to give as to why the probabilities come out identical either way is a very simple one and that is the flawed logic in assuming the 75 percent success rates with a fully unlocked skill set the argument for leaving everything unlocked is that you have a 75 percent chance of getting a point in a skill that you care about but what if i told you that that's not actually true the goal of getting a 5515 commander is to max the last skill without putting a single skill in the third one the skill points of the first and second skills actually don't matter at all and that's because of the skill lock feature what do I mean by this well let's say you leave this completely unlocked and you add a skill and it goes into the second skill that is not moving you any closer towards a 5515 configuration because that outcome was guaranteed from the start by simply skill locking the commander so it's not that you have a 75 percent chance of getting closer to your end goal the reality is that you have a 50 percent chance of an inconsequential outcome if you get points in the first two skills it literally doesn't matter because those points could have been guaranteed regardless i hope that makes sense so in reality what you have is a 50 percent chance of kind of an outcome that doesn't move the needle at all and a 25 percent failure rate and a 25 percent success rate and in that scenario where the failure rate and the success rate are the same well that sounds awfully similar to maxing the first two skills and then you have a 50 50. the quote unquote benefit you get by leaving everything unlocked and having a lower failure rate 
is completely nullified by the fact that you have to do more attempts in order to try to get your points in that last skill hopefully I've done a good job explaining that in this video I don't know if I have I think some people are going to get it some people just aren't going to get it and the reality is that it doesn't really matter if people understand this or not right because you can't you can't change it right it, it the probability is what it is so whether you think it's one or another you could do whatever you want really like to do whatever if you think there's a strategy that works better do that the numbers I mean it is what it is right so with that being said if we understand that the probability of the desired outcome is equivalent no matter what you do then why did I say earlier that I have a recommendation well my recommendation is skill lock obviously right and the reason for this is because if you run out of skill resets and you don't have your first skill maxed you have basically a useless commander okay you have to max that first skill you have to there's no you can't use the commander without that first skill so in a world where the probability is the same either way then skill lock the commander at least they're usable at that rate and if you get down to maybe two or three skill resets and you decide oh I don't want to use any more on this commander then you're good you still have the skills that you care about actually maxed now if you don't believe the math in this video which lines up with the math in wick gaming's video as well by the way then what I would encourage you to do is whatever you feel like doing but if you think that the fully unlocked method is better then do this method until you have one skill reset left okay if that'll make you feel better do that but if you're down to your last skill reset you must skill lock I'm telling you you have to do it because you can't not have the active skill maxed okay hopefully I have explained the math good enough in this video to get people to understand why I did the skill lock in my Gorgo video again I got dozens of people yelling at me in the comments and but I was thinking when I was on vacation I'm like am I crazy like did I do something wrong like was I actually wrong here and uh based on the number of comments I thought I was right but now that I'm home I ran the data it looks like the probability is the same either way and again you don't believe me that's totally fine now here's my last request from you guys okay if you don't agree with the math in this video for whatever reason and you don't agree with the math in what gaming's video for whatever reason then please don't put a paragraph in the comments this is the thing about probabilities and math that make me not want to make these videos writing a huge huge paragraph isn't gonna change anything if if you know that I'm wrong here and, and I mean this genuinely if you know that this math is wrong if you know that the math in Wick gaming's video is wrong which I'll link below by the way don't put a paragraph it show your work in a video please I'm actually asking you to do that show your work in a video because I I'm not gonna read a paragraph I'm not I, and there's gonna be tons of them down below because they're not gonna make it to the end of this video anyway but please don't write a comment show your work some some way in a Google Doc or or in a spreadsheet or uh through a video or something like that because a paragraph of text explaining probabilities that are complex like this I don't think text is a good way to communicate this stuff personally I think the Python code is the best way to do it like literally just simulate skill lock and not skill lock like that's the, I think the best way to do it the best way would to be if somebody had 10 million skill resets on their account and just sat there and did it right and recorded all the outcomes but that is what the Python code actually was doing so please if you think this is wrong I do want to know but don't do it in text form do it in some other way because I I'm not going to be able to read everyone's paragraph with that being said if you made it to the end of this video if you found it useful drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and comment down below your thoughts on this did this blow your mind did this math just make you realize that math is hard and, and I agree with you math is hard and of course while you're down there subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace